This video is an overview of conversion between polar and Cartesian coordinate systems. Before proceeding, please review the topics of units, trigonometry, as well as the setup for coordinate systems. As already hinted in the companion video, a quantity does not change depending on the coordinate system, merely how it is referenced. As a reminder, in a polar coordinate system, a vector is referenced by radial distance or magnitude, depending on the quantity, and the angle relative to a reference direction. In a Cartesian coordinate system, a quantity is represented as a magnitude in each of two reference directions. First, let's convert the quantity 3 meters at 60 degrees up from the right to Cartesian representation. We start by switching the quantity to be plotted in our new Cartesian coordinate system. Next, We draw a right triangle that has one of its vertices anchored at the origin. Its hypotenuse is a straight line towards the quantity and the sides are parallel to the axes. Notice that the hypotenuse is related to the sides using the Pythagorean theorem, and the sides can be calculated from the hypotenuse using so ka toa. Here is an example of converting from Cartesian to polar coordinates. We start with a position vector of negative 5 meters in the x direction and positive 2 meters in the y direction.
we will keep the position and the origin let's switch the coordinate system to polar and we want to know how to express the same position using radial distance and angle from the reference direction again we draw the right triangle with a vertex at the origin the hypotenuse pointing towards our quantity and the sides parallel to the Cartesian coordinates. Immediately notice that the angle of the triangle is not the angle relative to our reference direction. We will still use trigonometry to calculate the angle of the triangle, but then we will remember to recalculate based on the re reference direction. The hypotenuse is calculated using the Pythagorean theorem. Be careful on how you plug this into your calculator as the negative sign of the sides should disappear due to the square. The best way to check is that the hypotenuse must be greater than either of the sides. Next, we use the arctangent of y over x to calculate the angle of the triangle. Finally, we check back at our diagram and what was our reference direction to calculate the angle. In summary, make sure that you have the information necessary by drawing the original vector set up the new coordinate system, draw the right triangle, apply the relevant trigonometry, and then check your math against the picture that you originally drew. In future problems where you encounter coordinate system switch between polar and Cartesian, please review this video again.